Here are 10 ways Brave is better than Chrome. Number one, Brave has a built-in ad blocker. With Chrome, you have to use a third-party extension, and Chrome recently announced some changes that are going to negatively impact the reliability of these third-party extensions. But with Brave, that's not a concern because they have a built-in ad blocker and it works wonderfully. Next, they have a built-in tracker blocker. They use something called fingerprint randomization, and this makes it difficult for sites to track you across your browsing activity. This is because they can't really get that fingerprint of what your browser is or which device you are, it's hard for them to get a unique identifier and this means that it's more difficult for them to serve you targeted ads. Big tech companies like Facebook and Google make so much of their money by tracking you, studying your habits, seeing what things you're looking at online and I just think it's creepy. I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that it's difficult for these companies to track me even though I have an ad blocker anyway so if they did serve me targeted ads I wouldn't see them. I'm just glad that I'm not feeding them my data. In recent years, Apple has added this do not track pop-up to iOS. So when you open a new app that uses tracking, you can say don't track me and iOS will actually block it. But unfortunately, Google isn't interested in doing this because Google's a data company. They want to know all this information on you. So when you use Chrome, you're just feeding all your data to Google. But when you use Brave, thanks to the built-in tracker blocker, that's not going to be a problem. For numbers three and four, Brave is faster and uses less RAM. Thanks to that built-in and tracker blocker pages load quicker because they don't have to load all the tracking scripts and the invasive ads and as a side effect it's also more efficient with RAM especially when you have multiple tabs open. The developers have done a great job optimizing Brave and even though it does run on Chromium which is the same engine that powers Google Chrome they've cut the fluff out and made some changes to make it more efficient. In fact Brave will save you enough time with its faster speeds to save you a few extra seconds to uh, hit that subscribe button. Number five is that syncing browsing data between devices is more private. Brave doesn't require any sort of Brave account or email and password to sync your data from your desktop to your phone. And this is cool because Brave has no way of knowing who the data belongs to on their servers. They use a passphrase and encrypt the data client side, which means that it's encrypted on their servers, they can't see the data, and they don't know who it belongs to since you don't have an account. The way Brave does their data syncing reminds me of the same setup that password managers use. And if you don't have a password manager, you need one. The best way to protect yourself online is to secure your accounts with strong, unique passwords. But no one can remember hundreds of different passwords for all of your accounts, and that's where 1Password, the sponsor of today's video, can help. 1Password is a password manager that stores your logins, credit cards, personal information, and secure notes. You can easily sign into sites and apps with autofill on any device, and you can access your vault with Face ID, Windows Hello or Fingerprint Unlock. Oh, and 1Password works perfectly on Brave. 1Password even lets you share passwords with family and colleagues. We use 1Password here at Krayler Media, and I'm able to share specific logins with individual team members to give them exactly what they need. 1Password is offering 25% off for new users, so go to this link to get started. Thanks to 1Password for sponsoring today's video, and now here are five more ways Brave is better than Chrome. Number six is that the private window in Brave is far more private than the incognito mode in Chrome. All the incognito mode really does in Chrome is prevent Chrome from keeping a browsing history while you have that window open, but sites are still able to leave cookies and track your activity between sites in that incognito session. With Brave, the private window works similarly, although they do have an option to use Tor. This masks your IP address from the sites you visit, kind of like a VPN, and it's another thing that makes it more difficult for sites to track you. Next is Brave Rewards. Brave has an optional feature where you can opt in to view non-invasive ads. These ads are displayed in places like the new tab page or as a push notification in Brave, and they are not displayed on any of the websites you visit. If you choose to opt into Brave ads, you can get rewarded through Brave Rewards. You'll receive BAT or Basic Attention Token, which is a cryptocurrency created by Brave and it can be redeemed for cash or gift cards. I think Brave Rewards is a great feature because it's totally optional. You don't have to opt in if you don't want to view the ads. For numbers 8 and 9, Brave offers a built-in crypto wallet and native IPFS support. To store your BAT, Brave has a native crypto wallet that can also handle any cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum. This is neat because it's not 
not just some integration for another third-party crypto wallet. It is a dedicated crypto wallet built into Brave so you don't have to use any other products or services to store your BAT. And on top of that, Brave has native support for IPFS. This allows you to load Web3 domains, which are decentralized websites. In Chrome, you would have to have a third-party extension or modify a bunch of settings to get this to work. But in Brave, I can just type my crypto domain like any other domain name and the website just loads. I love that Brave is embracing Web3 and the future of the internet and they're supporting the concept of decentralized sites, which is something that tech conglomerates like Google aren't necessarily a fan of. Number 10 is that Brave is committed to privacy. I know this seems a little bit vague compared to the other points in the video, but I think it's worth mentioning. You can see Brave's commitment to privacy with the copy on their website and in the decisions they're making on which features they prioritize in their browser. I like that Brave has a transparency report for Brave ads showing how many campaigns are running and how many users have opted into Brave ads. This is something that you wouldn't see from a company like Google, and it makes me feel much more comfortable trusting my browsing data to Brave instead of Chrome. And don't forget to check out 1Password and get 25% off using this link. I think Brave is absolutely worth using over Chrome, but a lot of people ask me about Firefox. I've broken down all the differences between Brave and Firefox, and you can check out that video right here.